I'm set. Y'all, I'm at my favorite spot over here in D. Houston. I got me some seafood. Y'all gonna be surprised. I ain't had seafood, baby. When the last time I had seafood? Woo! That is sad to be somebody who loves seafood. Get to it. This is $20. This was... This is $20. I ain't, I'm not complaining. No, I'm not. This is $20, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cause... Yo, what up, what it is, and what it do? This is your favorite cousin, and I am back with another banger. If you are new to this channel, all that good old stuff, hit your bell notification so you can be notified. A lot of people been saying YouTube been unsubscribing them from my channel. I don't know what's going on, but if you have been unsubscribed, just make sure you subscribe back. What we have prepared for us is a $20 meal that didn't come with much of nothing. But before we get into this good old bite, let's go ahead and get to this prayer by your way. God, thank you so much once again for the food you prepared for my body. Thank you for your grace, Lord God. Let this temperature go down in this Houston heat, Lord God. Protect anybody watching this video and give us the grace to continue to get through it. I just want to say thank you. In your name I pray, amen. Cuz, listen to me, baby. Listen, I, I got the goods. I have them. Let me bring this back. Let me bring this back. Let me render it in my hell last night. We lit. But let me bring this back so I can chat with you a little bit. First of all, I mean, what I... I wore a white t-shirt, but I can go to the store and get me $20 worth of seafood, baby, and it was a lot. They good, though. They good. But y'all remember when we first started mukbangs? How you can go? Baby, I'm about to start doing that eat with cute. Don't, don't wipe your sweat challenge. Don't get start sweating. Back in the day, baby. You can go to the stove and load up. And load up. And hell. We thought that was too damn much. He's good. It's good as hell. I decided to come eat outside today because it was. How you doing? Hello. Good, thank you. You gotta watch your back out here, But it was a good idea to come outside and sit down. Now, I'm second guessing everything that I'm going through. Good. But if like 98 degrees in Houston right now. I don't know where you at across the world. But down here in the south, baby. Whatever God is up there baking is done. Seems to me. Seems to me he baking us. That's what it seemed like. But whatever he, he up there baking, somebody gotta let him know it's done. That's when I first set out here. Baby, when I first set out here with this man. But anyway, let me chit chat with you while I'm sitting over here enjoying my seafood. I hope this video reaches you well. You know what I really hope for you? What I really hope for you is that you're walking in your purpose and not just doing it because you pay the bills. I pray that whoever watching this video is doing what they love and not because it's paying the bills. That's what I'm on a, on a journey of. Since I, you know, I don't feel like I have any more, you know, when you look at that sweat. You know when you slaying your hair, baby, isn't it? I feel like I don't have any more distractions that are distracting me from doing exactly what I want to do. But when you live a life of people pleasing, when you finally get to that point of knowing what you want to do, I feel like that'd be the hardest part because you got so many options. You got so many things that you want to do. So it's like, where do you even start? But I pray that you walking in your purpose and living 
a purposeful life because life is too dang on short. It's too short. I mean, I don't know how my hell, but life is too short to just be doing stuff for money. You know? Life is too short to be just doing stuff just primarily for money. You know? When I'm finally at a place in my life to where I can just solely focus on me. And that's exactly where I want you to be in life. Where you go. Where you just fulfilling your journey and what you want to do. You know? When I said a couple months ago that I was stepping away from mukbangs, I chose a healthier decision. And if y'all notice, I really don't be eating like that, baby, because my mind helped as well. And so, but that was one of the points of, I just started choosing me, you know? I come on here, I taste a little bit and talk to you. But life is too short to be doing anything or being with anybody or going anywhere that don't make you happy, that don't make you feel, that don't give you, maybe for $20, I know damn well, they ain't over 15, they good. For $20. For $20, this should've been the best crab legs they ever cooked, but it ain't, it's cool. But, life too short, man. To be worried about what other people gonna think, life too short to not be doing exactly what you want to be doing, you know? Stop being a hoarder of, stop being a hoarder of things that don't fulfill you, of things that don't make you happy. Stop being a hoarder of things that don't make you complete. All you're doing is setting yourself back and missing out on the blessings of the things that do make you complete. That's all you're doing. You gotta get to a point in your life where it's just, it was gonna be selfish, it's gonna sound selfish, but at the same time, you gotta get to that point in your life to where you just focusing on what it is that you wanna do. There's so many people out here not walking in their greatest potential. So many people out here that waiting on life to happen for them. When sometimes all we gotta do is be the ones to go out there and make it happen. Everybody out here on different walks of life different journeys and some of you some of us spit my back might not know what that is we want to do but fortunately God gives us grace to choose he gives us grace to choose exactly what we want to do and how we want to do it so just don't ever forget that when you walk into your journey wait a minute now I feel like a little pastor in church, I ain't damn. But God gives us the grace to choose, you know? So start choosing your time and where you spend your energy more wisely, you know? Tell you, the moments that you enduring right now is not gonna last forever. So you might as well start setting yourself up for a successful, abundant life, regardless. Regardless, start setting yourself up for it. I'm mean, cause this would be nasty. This be the nasty part right here. Ain't it? But start setting yourself up for it. exactly what you want to do and how you want to live it. You got to. That's where I'm at right now. Life too damn short, man. It's too short to be holding grudges. It's too short to be... I'm on the highway. Life's too short to be holding grudges. It's too short to be worried about what other people are going to say. It's too short to, to not be happy. you got to start choosing yourself. When I leave here, I'm about to go home and make me a list. of the things that I want to do. You ain't never too late. It ain't never too late for you to start over. 
and rebrand yourself and make yourself even happier. This is the first piece of meat I done showed y'all in years. I'll tell you what, I ain't work. Girl, I ain't work two wood niggas to rub together. It ain't never too late. You know? It ain't never too late. Stop thinking that it is. That's a fluff. You ain't never too old or never too young to walk in your true path. It's, it's, it's too many of us just out here doing stuff that just don't make us happy, man. You gotta start thinking about asking yourself, is this gonna make me happy or am I settling? Am I settling for this moment or can I take, you know what I'm saying, take the chance to sit this one out and go and do what makes me happy or something that's gonna make me prosper? You gotta start thinking like that, man. Life is too short. Like, life is just too short. You know? Tomorrow, really not promised for none of us. It's not. It's not promised for nobody in the comments. It's not promised for me. It's not promised for anybody. So you gotta start living your life and fulfilling your dreams and fulfilling your spirit right now in this moment. If, the, if you wanna move, make that move. If you want a new job, take that, go get a new job. If you wanna, you know what I'm saying, start, start, start a business, start the business. You living in this shoulda, coulda, woulda lifestyle that can be, that honestly can be. So ain't no more shoulda, coulda, wouldas, man. We gotta get out and start living our freaking life, bro. We do. Cause the longer you sit there and waddle in your depression, the longer you sit there and waddle in, you know, your anxiety, the longer you sit there and waddle in doubting yourself, it's the, the longer that you're gonna be there. You're gonna be there for the longer. You gotta start changing your mind frame and start changing your spirit to say, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do this. And I'm really talking to myself right now. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do this. Ain't no more shoulda, coulda, wouldas, man. Ain't no more of that. Ain't no more of that, man. Ain't no more, you know? Life can be as abundant as we want it to be. We just gotta get our behinds up and go get it. But we be so afraid of falling that we be scared to make that move. When you look at it from this perspective that you already falling anyway because you're not happy, what you got to lose? We can't get with nothing. What we got to lose? What we got to lose? Nothing. I ain't got nothing to lose. I don't. I came here with nothing. I came on YouTube with nothing. With nothing. With zero subscribers. With nobody knowing my name. With nobody criticizing me. With nobody making me happy. I came on this channel with nothing. So anything that I do, what do I have to lose? You, you went to that job, you prayed for that job, but you went there with nothing but faith. So the same next opportunity that you have, go step into that same opportunity with faith. The same way you pray for where you at right now, that's the same way you gotta pray to get to where you are going. Don't start selling yourself short now. Don't start doubting yourself now. Don't start doubting yourself now. The same faith that you had when you bought that house, the same faith that you had when you bought that car, the same faith that you had when you got married. Don't give up on it now. Don't give up on it now. Don't start doubting yourself now because of what you were scared. You scared now? You wasn't scared when you applied for the job. You wasn't scared when you applied for the house. You wasn't scared when you made that last move. And the same grace that he gave you on that last opportunity is the same grace that he gonna give you on the next one. But you gotta stop being so scared to make that move. You gotta stop, I'm telling you, man. The journey to fulfillment, self-contentment, the journey to happiness starts with you. With nobody else. Excuse me, cuz. My bad. It don't start with nobody else. It don't. Damn. That was a good little piece of corn now. I'm about done here. I am, because I know I ain't eating no potatoes. I should eat them for one now, but it starts with you, cuz. Ain't no more excuses. 
in this season. Ain't no more excuses of shoulda, coulda, woulda. But the same way, the same faith that you had to get it is the same faith that you either that you keep that you have to keep it or to go on to the next venture. But stop downplaying yourself. Stop doubting yourself. Like this is it. This ain't it. We got we got so much more. <laughs> Baby, the hell be hearing. We got so much more to do. Your last destination is not your final destination. We got so much more to do. But the only way to keep going and to keep doing it and to keep prospering is to put that same faith and keep going. Put that same faith in it and keep going. Don't start doubting yourself now. Don't start being hard on yourself now. Don't start saying I'm too old now. Don't be saying I ain't got no money now. Don't be saying, don't say none of that. Cause it all start with a little faith. Whatever it is you gotta do, you gotta get it done. That's where we at. We, we, in, we in a season of getting stuff done. We no longer in a season of, ah, it can wait. No, it can't wait. It cannot wait. We got stuff to do right now. That's it, that's all. Wait a minute. Maybe I done pinched my whole mouth. But who am I? I just come over here and eat and talk a little talk. I talk that talk, I do. But I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Start right now, whatever it is, whatever you want in the season, it can genuinely be yours. You just gotta go get it. And this is my purpose. This is my purpose right here. To come over here and talk and inspire and to, to let people know that there, where there's a will, there is a way. And I'm not gonna change that about myself or nobody. I'm not, because I know my purpose in life. And my purpose in life is my voice because when I grew up, I was a mute. My mama would tell you I was a mute. I wouldn't talk, I used to have my little sister tell my mama what I wanted. So I was a mute growing up. Now I realize that I don't have to be a mute and I have a voice and I'm not gonna stop using it. So I know this is my purpose, one of them anyway. So that's where everything, every time I come on this channel, that's all I'm gonna do is, is inspire. I don't care about the food. I don't care about nothing. I just care about me walking in my purpose and that's important to me. Me walking in my purpose is important to me. I'm no longer a mute. I talk now, I have a voice. So what is your purpose? And when you find your purpose, I promise you, you gonna find you. But it's not on you, it's in you. And what's in you, they can never say, boy, let's get it. Cause this week, we are so Update on my dogs. I got him sitting right here. I actually had this chain right here wrapped around him because this big dog Cuzzo right here, of course he's next to the plaque. So I actually got him like sitting right there chilling, but his chain, his chain fell off. <laughs> his chain fell off, but so far, so far we got just a couple. Good morning, all my cool cats and kittens, all my Cuzzo G's. We on two weeks of this hair transition and I'm not too, <laughs> It's like thin and I'm not, I, I, I just don't know. I'm at the point to where I just feel like I should take it out. I really, really do. I really, really do. I keep looking at it. That's why I keep looking over here. I'm at the point to where I really just want to take it out. But I know what my heart desires. So I got an appointment set for next week. So I'm going to get this thing rolling. But I mean, somebody, look how little they done got. Baby, what happened? We are here. Let me, let me fix this. Yes, this this is definitely my favorite hat. I think y'all done seen all the hats that I got and put on my shoes. I think y'all done seen all the hats that I got. This one right here, I done bought this hat like four times. I got like four of these hats, but this is my favorite hat, so. But anyway, I'm like two weeks in on this hair journey, y'all. And your girl is just over here like, baby, why they just couldn't lock today? But I know that's not the process, so we gonna keep moving forward, so. Anyway, welcome back to the vlog. Today, I'm actually at home editing all day. Just kind of kicking it. Yesterday we were at home, not at home, but like at the store at home. And we were like looking for this mirror and we actually found the perfect mirror, but we knew it was not gonna fit in the car. So when I got home last night, I actually ordered it online. Long story short, I put in the wrong address. I was like one number off from my original address. So I've been up all morning trying to get in contact with them and I couldn't get in contact with them. And then the people, something on my face, they finally called and was like, oh, we're on our way. I'm like, y'all got the wrong address. So 
I got that coming today. I gotta edit. I wanna go find me a juicer, but I really don't know if I'm leaving the house today. Anybody else have like those moments where they're like, you know what, today I'm just gonna work from home, not going outside. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just about to sit at the computer and edit, got some videos to edit, and wait on the mirror and just kick it. So today we at home, we just kicking it. Welcome back to the vlog. If y'all been liking the vlogs, say cuz I've been liking the vlogs. I know YouTube hasn't been recommending them because when you go from doing mukbangs every single day and you change that, I thought somebody was coming in here. But when you go from mukbangs every day and then you change it to vlogs, of course you're gonna change the algorithm. So if y'all been sticking by me through these vlogs, I really wanna say thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I enjoy making them, I enjoy editing them. So welcome back to the vlog, which I just spit all. Welcome back. At the computer. And I gotta go on Amazon and order another one of these. Probably why it's broke because of me. This is how you know you're about to work today. When you got one computer over here, one computer over here, one computer over here. This mug, this, this damn show ain't working. Oh no, it's working. Let me put in my little password. Come on, give me something. Okay, we're working, we got action. But y'all, so, I don't know. I've been getting like a lot of messages, like a lot of messages from people like, cuz oh, get back on Instagram, get back on TikTok, like get consistent. Y'all, I have not been so social on social media. Like I'll post. Who that? I'll post. Let me tell y'all why though. Like, I had hit 100K on Instagram, right? And then like, all of a sudden I just started losing followers. I don't even know I had hit like 100K like a couple months ago. So I got like discouraged. Not even to the point to where it was like, oh, I'm sad I'm losing followers. Cause like, I don't really care about that. But at the end of the day, it was like, maybe I don't need this. <laughs> I just say, I was just like, maybe I don't need this. So like, I took a break from social media. I post every now and then, but you can tell I'm not as active as I used to be. So I will be back on social media soon. Cause I feel like I deserve that million on TikTok. Yes, I do. I deserve to get my 100K back on Instagram. Yes, I do. So make sure y'all check me out on like famous birthdays, TikTok, Instagram, and all of that stuff. But me, I just haven't really been feeling like so social. I haven't really, really been feeling like I need to like show my life, show my life, show my life, show my life, like on Instagram and TikTok, if that makes sense. So I just kind of been on YouTube, just kicking it and chilling. But I need to get back social. <laughs> I need to get back on Instagram. I deserve that million on TikTok. I deserve that 100K. So hopefully I get back on that joint soon. But I don't know. I just ain't been feeling like social. Like I'm really not like a picture taking person. I'm not. Even though I'm fine as hell. That's on what? That's on who? That's on proof. But I don't know. I just ain't been feeling social. But I promise I'm coming back to Instagram. Everything is cuzzo AB. Instagram cuzzo AB. TikTok cuzzo AB. Facebook cuzzo AB. My Facebook ain't even really active. I don't be on it either, but I'm gonna get back social one day. But. Call me Mirror Cuzzo. The mirror just got here. This is the exact one. Who is that? It's my wife. Hello? Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. How are you? Don't worry about don't worry about my socks. I got on the wrong socks today, but I've been wanting one of these for a minute. Like one of these life-size mirrors where you could just <laughs> look at yourself and just have a whole, you can see the whole fit now. Don't worry about the socks, baby. Don't don't worry about the don't worry about the socks. That mirror up. Oh, it's a little thing. It's just a little things that just bring me joy. Like I've been wanting one of these mirrors forever. We got one, baby! Oh, it's a little thing. Y'all, I can see my whole fit. Get into it. La, 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 la. So, ideally, we want a mirror right here. Of course, the mirror's right there. And then, like, just a little plant right here. So, we getting it together piece by piece. Y'all know how people be. Y'all know how people be. Come here. Y'all know how people be taking their pictures like this. And they be in their mirrors like this. Yes! I've been waiting for this forever, bro. Like, I've been waiting on this forever, like myself accordingly y'all i'm so excited to have this mirror today is peaceful it's like noon already i feel like i've been so productive today i got a little edison done i got the mirror i cleaned up did my morning routine of just ritual of just being happy how you start your day is so important like usually 
I don't answer any phone calls before like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. If I wake up early, I need like an hour to call people back. They won't feel any less love. I need like a couple hours to call people back. I make sure like I gather my thoughts, get myself together, and make sure I start my day with my own energy because I know my energy is gonna be positive. I know my energy is gonna be top tier. I know my energy is gonna bring the best. So before I answer anybody's phone call or deal with anybody else, I make sure I get myself together first. So it's like noon and I still haven't ate anything. <laughs> but I just been kind of like productive, gathering my thoughts, being in my own thoughts for me is like so important because it's time to think, it's time to reflect, it's time to reevaluate, it's time to renegotiate, and it's time to give myself like a reality check. And I think a lot of people don't do that enough, give themselves a reality check and hold themselves accountable for the shit that they've done to people. Also while holding other people accountable. So it's been a good morning. So this is how, this is how this vlog will go, like just super chill, but Make sure when you wake up in the morning, you take care of yourself first. Like that is so important for you to take care of you. I promise you, people won't feel less love. They won't feel less value. They won't feel anything different. For all they know, you still sleep while you getting yourself together. But I love this mirror. Get into it though. something like green i feel like i want like a smoothie or something something green <laughs> i don't know y'all y'all would be surprised like since i don't do mukbangs no more i know i keep reminding y'all of this but since i don't do mukbangs no more literally like i don't really be just eating like that at all then if i do eat something i crave like something green come here come here baby y'all already know you gotta come back to this channel i crave like something green so i think i'm about to go to smoothie king go try to find me like a, a kai bowl is it a kai aki mm -hmm. all of the above try to find me like a bowl or something i think i'm about to go to smoothie king and get me something i don't know what i don't know what so what we make uh, it's like, I put collagen in this drink. Oh yeah, it's gonna make your skin glow. It's yeah. gonna make my skin glow? Yes. Oh yeah, give me that. It's gonna make your hair grow. For real? Make your nails grow. It's gonna make your skin glow. So I need to drive 40 minutes every day for one of these? Right. Yo, that's good. What's all in, what's all in there again? It's uh, a <laughs> uh, strawberry, uh, pineapple, coconut. I put this like vegan collagen in there. Collagen got like spirulina and chlorella. Yeah. So I'm thinking like if it's green, it's the best. It is actually. <laughs> but I'm saying like this ain't green. It is. Put a lot of strawberry in there. If I didn't put that strawberry, it'd be green. No, that's because great. Because of the spirulina and all of that. What is spirulina? <laughs> you smell it if you want to. It's really? like fish with powder. Put it in your drink. It smells like fish. I know. I'm over here while I need to be today. But 
not even about being vegan. It's just like I you say about eating healthy. I eat healthy. That's I eat a balanced diet. Right. Say that. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get into. It don't, it don't happen overnight. It don't happen over, over a month. It takes time. Yeah. It does. I had it a piece of chicken last night. I don't know. But I'm just saying, but you still find, you call, right. find your balance. That's what I'm saying. Find your balance. Sure. Just healthy. Nice. Right, How we doing? Yeah. Don't let this video fool you. I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm gonna go eat some chicken wings later. I'm just getting me a little nice little healthy snack. But later, I'm gonna go eat some chicken wings. So don't be like, cuz, baby, I already know what I'm gonna go do. But <laughs> I got they special. I gotta go ask him what, what it's called. Oh yeah, I, I, I gotta go ask him what it's called. Hold on, cuz. Alright, ask him. It's called a falafel. Alright, it's called a falafel. They hooked me up in there, I ain't gonna hold it. He gave me a spoon. I gotta go back up in there and get a spoon. I'm gonna give me a fork. I got my falafel. Some man in there had jokes talking about I'm still in the hood. Bye bye. I don't know why people bother me, but I got the falafel. I'm gonna try it. It's like it's got falafel, cucumbers, onions, and some olives, and some quinoa. How you say it? Quinoa? Quinoa? We, we finna do it. Mmm. -hmm. That salad good as hell. Where my vegans at? I know why you. Yeah. Okay. You know what that tastes like? It's my food. I wish I could describe it to you, but I can't. But this is like, where my vegans at? Where my vegans at? I don't know why I have to get. Come here. Come into this chocolate, baby. Come on, baby. You see me. If you don't, now you do. Now I'm gonna get my honest opinion on this. This here might be a little too healthy for me. It do. It might be a little too healthy. It's good. Y'all, this tastes like something, but I can't put my finger on it. These are really good. Now, I'm new to this healthy lifestyle, so don't hold me when I say this. But I need a little ranch on here. Just a little ranch. But it's actually good. Whatever this little thing is, it's hitting. Look, that man Ben gave me. He gave me the whole damn bar of ranch. Okay. Don't knock it till you try it. I mean, talking about the people stuff, I ain't even put my concoctions together. We better do it. Let me give me one more little bite. Money. 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 Damn, so vegan ranch. Where my vegans at? That damn so vegan ranch. It's good though. Oh yeah, this smoothie though. So y'all, I'm up here at Just Juice. I'm not sure what part of Houston I am in to give y'all the full details, but I am at Just Juice. Chris, customer service, top tier. A whole vibe up in there. I was just kicking in and chilling. I asked him could I bring my camera in because a lot of times, like I don't like to bring my camera in. Unless I get their approval first, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just nice and I don't really like to disrespect people because people, some people don't want to be on camera and that's okay. Yeah, we're going to eat them. Yeah, we're going to eat them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cheer that. I'm going to cheer that. I ain't have nothing new. What I did with the lid on it. Anyway, thank y'all for watching the vlog today. You know, I always got something encouraging to say, man. Like, I just be on my spirit. That people pleasing stuff is dead. Let it go. This journey that you own, when you realize and start becoming in tune with yourself, you'll understand that that people pleasing is dead, cuz. Half them people you trying to please, and even in the spirit of pleasing themselves, that's why they attacking you. You get what I'm saying? Whatever season, them people you are pleasing are in, they in the spirit of attacking you. So they not even just in no spirit of trying to make your life better because they trying to figure out how to make theirs life better so that people pleasing stuff because they ain't even trying to please themselves so why are you trying to please them you just got to move forward in your process move forward in your journey and know that it's okay to be a little selfish with your time it's okay to be a little selfish with your mind it is chris did a big one with these joints i ain't gonna even hold it i'm gonna try some of this little sauce i'm gonna dip it i'm gonna dip it i'm gonna dip it well i'm a dipper i'm a dipper of things 
call me what you want. You just gonna call me for French. But, mmm, bustin'. Bustin'. But, just keep in mind, folks, those people that you are trying to please, the reason why they keep attacking you is because they can't please themselves. You know what I'm saying though? It's time out for trying to meet people's expectations. It's time out for trying to reach certain levels that those people expect you to be at. I'm here from experience to tell you that you will never be able to feel, fulfill somebody else's expectations of you. The only thing you could be is yourself. I'm telling you, you're going to be much happier. You're going to walk more gracefully. You're going to walk with a little in your body because you're not focusing on yourself and not people pleasing. Cause So why you in this season of getting yourself together, healing, and becoming more for you, the more people's opinion is going to depreciate. So take care of yourself. Make sure you're taking care of your mind frame your energy protect your energy at all costs and that's just what it is and that's just what it ain't but i'm finna go i'm finna do i'm finna draw my salad i can eat this man when i put that ranch on there i gotta stop judging people by the stuff that i'm not doing right that's a word ain't it i gotta stop judging people by the stuff that i'm not doing right i judge this salad based off something that i did wrong my mind the salad dresser was right there so stop judging people every time you all people in other people's lives and giving them opinions they didn't ask for it no they didn't no they didn't let people be happy you know how we make the world better by being better for ourselves by being happy for ourselves like don't nobody need your opinion no they don't i damn sure don't no i don't i'm finna go i'm finna do it i love you from the bottom of my heart i'm finna go home and i'm finna take my girl out to a nice lit ball baby she picked date nights i picked date nights and you know where i want to go watch this